So one of the things that I love about my Instant Vortex oven is that it came with some really cool accessories. And one of my favorites, this basket. Holy moly. We use this in conjunction with the rotisserie that's built into the unit. And you could do some incredible stuff in here with results that are amazing. Talk about even doneness and even crispness. Holy cow. Let's make some wings. I think you're really going to like these. One of the best things about making wings at home as compared to going out and spending the fortune on them is if somebody else decides how you're going to have them here man if you like them hot have them hot if you like them sweet have them sweet if you want to jack it up jack it up tone it down tone it down and you get a couple of chances to spice these wings before and after you cook them so here's what we're going to do we're going to take one tablespoon of flour one tablespoon of cornstarch and then a half a tablespoon each of baking powder chili powder and cayenne pepper this is going to give it a kick from the get-go I'm going to make one point right off the top. I'll stick to my guns on this. If you want to comment on it down in the, uh, in the comment section, you go ahead. But I got to say this, that's a wing. That's not two wings. I don't know whoever decided to cut that in half and decide to call it two of them. But come on, you guys, that's one wing. Man, I just, I had to say it, I'm sorry. So here's what we're going to do. First thing I want you to do is find a good sharp knife, a good sharp chef's knife. I've got my eight inch marks on the grill knife here. Here's what we're going to do. I'm not doing that. No way. I'm going to keep this one wing. But I am going to take off that little coin. That's all I want to do. One second, and I'm going to get rid of all of these. Hi, Daisy. Come to check things out. Just like that. All right. We're going to save these because we use these for uh, soups and stock and all kinds of stuff. But the, you know what? Freeze these. You can always find a use for them. So now let's go ahead and get all of our wings into a nice big bowl. Make sure that the bowl is big enough for tossing. There we are. Even though Daisy was right in front of us, I don't know if the camera's seeing this, but boy, she's, she's hoping something goes wrong. <laughs> go ahead and sprinkle all of those uh, spices and the flour and the cornstarch right on over there. Just like that. We're going to allow all of these spices and flour and then stuff to make sure that we get a nice crisp on our wings. So let's go ahead and toss those. Hit the thing. And when you've got them nice and evenly coated, go ahead and load that basket. And what's great about this is as the basket turns, of course, it rotates and allows the tumbling of this chicken. It's just fantastic. What a good idea and how cool it will do right on your countertop. So simple with a, an oven that already bakes and roasts and reheats and dehydrates. Now you get a rotisserie out of the deal and a basket. That's cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We don't need this bar. Now this is for when you're gonna do something on a spit like a chicken or a prime rib. We're gonna do this in another video. I'm gonna put it aside for now though. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna toast that and give it a bit of a twist. Let me do that again in case you missed it. This just goes right on like that and give it a bit of a twist. Either way, it doesn't matter. A lot of times, you know, we'll recommend that you preheat the oven, but in this case, you really don't have to because the cooking time uh, is long enough. It's, it's not going to affect it that much. And these are just kind of the little tips and tricks that you'll get when you join us here on the channel. Uh, you know, when you use these, kind of that, uh, you know, on and on and on. You know, especially when you use these for so many uh, different dishes and different things that we do on live TV. You know, we learn all the tips and tricks that makes this just the, the funnest machine to use. So uh, subscribe to our channel, ask some questions in the comment section if you want. Uh, if there's a recipe you want to see or something you caught us doing on live TV that you want to see here, we're always happy to oblige. So guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that basket. So here's how simple it is to load. All you do is run it right across that guide rail to the end, and then the little red button, give it a click, and it snaps into place. Couldn't be simpler. So remember, this is a seven-in-one countertop air fryer oven. And a couple of the features that are available are gonna unlock the rotation button. Here's what I mean. If we were gonna bake or broil something in here, which is what we're gonna do with the wings, we're gonna go actually ahead and hit roast. Then what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us the option to rotate. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my time at 25 minutes. Because I've made this before, I know that that's how long these wings are gonna take. I'm gonna hit the start button. And now that the oven started, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit that rotate button. And you can see what happens on the inside here. That basket is gonna send those wings tumbling round and round and round. They're gonna baste in their own juices. They're gonna crisp up, especially because of the extras that we put in off the top. 
And when those are all done, we're gonna carefully take them out and we're gonna to toss them in some special sauce. See you around the corner. There we go. I just heard the ding. Ding's always good. Let's open that up and have a look. Oh man, I can taste those now. I can sure smell them. Now, you're gonna get a little tool that looks just like this in your package, and this is what you're gonna use to get the basket out of the air fryer. And all it does is hook right inside, just like that, and then the same little red button that you use to pop it in there, you're gonna use to pop it out, just like that. Nice and safe, your hands away from the heat. Now you can take this anywhere that you need to put it. I'm gonna set it right on the cutting board, just like that. The top twists straight off. Look at those. Look at those little crunchy bits inside. Are you kidding me with that? Oh, cow, do those look good. So let's go ahead and switch this up. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I've got some hot sauce at the bottom of the bowl. Pick any hot sauce you like. We're gonna pop that in there. And let those wings fall right in. And remember, those are full wings, not a half a wing that somebody's counting as one wing, but a whole wing. I like that. I'm gonna take one second. I wanna hold one of these up. How oh, look at that. Isn't that perfect? Oh man, I'm taking one for the team. These are so hot, they're still bubbling. That has a nice crispy crunch on it. That's because of the cornstarch and the flour. Oh, and that baking soda puffs it up just a little. And they are so evenly cooked and evenly browned. I love it. So because we made these at home, we can spice these any way we want. You know what this is? This is chili crisp. If you see this at your local grocery store, grab it. It's so good. I'm going to sprinkle that right on top, just like that. And now we're going to give these a toss. So listen, you can head off to the sports bar with the big games coming up or whatever reason you're getting together. Maybe a... Yeah, you know, the kids got people over and you want to give them a nice little treat without having to spend 20 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever it is for wings nowadays. And you get to have it exactly the way you want it. You get to do it countertop and we're not cooking them in a whole bunch of fat and oil. Mm, remember, we can air fry these, we can broil, we can bake them. However it is you like it, the instant vortex is going to do it for you. Oh, this is so, I can, I can breathe in that heat. These are so good. And this guy's, oh, this is a perfect topper to wings. I've got a little bit of fried garlic pieces that I'm just going to sprinkle right on top, just like that. Now that is the kind of wing dish that I'm proud to serve anybody. Look at those. Now, while these cool off, I want to show you something kind of neat with your air fryer that I've never seen in a countertop uh, air fryer oven anything. Guys, we've all had these kind of doors with like the glass cook and look thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's really good when it's new, but after you've used it a couple of times, oh. So watch what we've done. We've made this door removable. So now you can take this directly to the sink and you can go ahead and clean it properly instead of having the inside of that glass just build up and build up and build up. How fantastic is that? Go ahead and dry it off. And just like that, you've taken one of the hardest cleaning jobs in the kitchen and made it one of the easiest. Way to go, Ensign. All right, so I know these are crazy hot, but I've been smelling these for the last 25 minutes. I gotta dig into one of these, man. Oh my goodness, I love when it's a whole wing. It's cooked beautifully all the way through. Look at that. Oh my, oh, oh, I am. That is better than any wing. You're gonna have at any price. Go anywhere you go. These are just fantastic. Wow. Hey, listen, subscribe to our channel for lots more great recipes, cool products to check out, and all kinds of fun food. I see you next time. All for more. Oh, yeah.